Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Michael's Diamond World. And today, I am going to be working on finishing up the apartment building, uh, which is right over there. Last episode, I built the uh, apartment at the very top of the building. And the, uh, the building's pretty much done. But I did want to add uh, a few things down on the, uh, the bottom floor. I wanted to put a, a fountain in. And uh, I also need to build a path to actually get to the building itself. Because right now, I don't think there's anything connecting it to the village. So I want to head over here and look at uh, what I've got uh, for a path. And I think I'm using a gravel... So, you know what, let's just go stop by the storage room real quick. Just grab up a little bit of gravel, and that way I can uh, build a path. Okay, so I've made it over to the apartment building here. I want to go ahead and uh, break away all these blocks. Oh, what is happening over here? No, there's zombies chasing my villagers. Hey, right, there's apparently some villagers over here. What are they all doing in this house? I just built you all an apartment building. Why are you all in this house? I have no idea what they're doing in there. I guess they're uh, chilling inside the house. But I need to get this path built now before uh, more zombies or other mobs, like especially creepers, would not be good. So I'm just going to connect this up uh, like that. So now we've got a nice little path that will connect up to the apartment building. Now, I did see a zombie over here. Where'd he go? I think he might be gone. So, let's go over here and build this fountain. So, I do actually have uh, some resources here. I've got some diamond blocks. I've got a water bucket. And I also want to use some cobblestone slabs to build this fountain. I'm going to go ahead and set up a crafting table over here temporarily. Just so I can uh, craft some stuff. I don't know where all these villagers came from, but they're uh, apparently chilling inside the uh, the building. I wonder if any of them want to go upstairs. I, I think it might be because it's not nighttime. They don't really know what to do. So they're just like chilling over here. Eventually, I think when it becomes nighttime, they'll go find beds upstairs in one of the rooms. So the idea that I have for this fountain is I wanted to put a hole in the wall. This right here is kind of like the middle. And then I'm going to have probably the water source block uh, right here. So if I section off this area with some slabs. And then fill this in with uh, diamond blocks. Because I've got five diamond blocks. I kind of need one more so I can have six. And then fill in that area. So let me go ahead and put this back. I need to put cobblestone around here and see if I can find any more diamonds in my uh, shulker box here. Okay, there's no more diamonds in the shulker box, so I'm going to have to go back uh, to the storage room and find some. But if I put water down there, it's going to flow into uh, this area here where I've got the cobblestone slabs. And I wanted to put... Oh, that's, that's not going to work. Oh, great. I wanted to put cobblestone slabs down somewhere to where it's kind of like flowing uh, from the uh, the cobblestone slabs. So if I put them in the uh, the hole like that and then put the water, I don't know if that's really going to look that good. Yeah, that actually might be better. So you know what? Let's do this. I'm going to put the slabs are going to go right here. I'm going to put water behind here and i'm actually gonna instead of having the stone back here i want to replace these blocks with something else so i'm gonna go and break away all of the uh the stone blocks here i don't think i need to do the top ones because you're not really gonna be able to see those but all of those blocks i'm gonna replace it with uh instead of stone blocks uh do i have those quartz yeah i do have quartz left so i'm gonna put quartz in here so I'm going to put a bunch of quartz blocks like that. And then this is all going to get filled in with uh, the wood. And then I'm going to put water along the back like that. And then water flowing out like that. I think that'll look really good. 
So let's go get another bucket of water because I don't think I have one in here. Yeah, there's no bucket of water in here. And now I can make an infinite water source with this. And then I just want to fill in all these blocks here with the water. So there is the, uh, the brand new fountain. I just need to get one more diamond block for there. So let's head back to the storage room real quick. Find a, uh, a diamond block. Alright, so I got the last diamond block here. I'm going to go and put that in. And there we go. The fountain is now complete. I think this looks really nice. We got uh, a little bit of water there. The one thing I might do is put up maybe some sort of barrier so these villagers don't end up walking into the water. Because right now it's just open. Uh, the only thing I really have as a barrier is this uh, slab. But that's not really preventing them from getting in the water. The good thing is they kind of stay away from the water by themselves. So I don't think it's really that big of a problem. The one thing I want to know is, are these guys going to go upstairs and use the beds? I don't know if they can actually, like, navigate their way up here. Because they've got beds. I'm pretty sure it's nighttime. Oh, wait, here we go. This guy uses the bed. Cool. Alright, so that's good that they're uh, finding the beds. Uh, hopefully these guys will make their way upstairs. You want to go upstairs and use... Where'd he go? Why are they so fast? These guys are, like, freaking out. They're running... Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's over there now. They they move so quick. So, I guess the uh, apartment building's kind of working. If I just, like, open up the doors, I wonder if that'll help them pathfind to the different rooms. Because I don't think they can actually find their way up to the top just yet. But I'm hoping eventually they'll figure out... Uh, how to get up there and uh, be able to use those beds. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and head back uh, to the uh, the survival shelter. Because what I want to do is I want to prepare uh, for attacking the aliens. Next episode, I'm thinking about going after the, uh, the aliens. Now that they've got... Why is there a pig man here? What it... What is happening? Why are there pigmen inside of here? I have no idea. There's lots of weird stuff happening in this world. Ever since the aliens showed up, there's been a lot of strange occurrences. We got skeleton horses, random pigmen showing up everywhere. So I want to see if we can actually attack the uh, the aliens because I already know how to get inside of their uh, wall. They have uh, a weakness right there in that cave. You can just walk right in. And I've already dug a, uh, a hole into that little cage. But look at them all. They're all just sitting right there. If I get my spyglass out. We gotta do some uh, investigation. Get some intel on the uh, the enemy here. So that next episode, we know how to uh, approach these guys. But uh, looking at it, there doesn't seem to be any other entrance other than that. That's our only way in right there. There is a slime farm over on this side. I don't think there's anything I can do about the slime farm. Uh, let's go uh, investigate over on this side of the uh, the facility. But this is the, uh, the slime farm right here. Where they got all the slime to build the rocket over there. So let's go in. Uh, see, where's that chest? Here it is. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. We got slime balls, mossy cobblestone, spider eyes, rotten flesh. So I guess it's been grabbing other things other than uh, slime. Alright, so let's go up here and see what is uh, happening with the aliens. Oh, great. There's a lot of them. Let's just like stand back here. Just kind of look inside. Are there... Uh, any over in the cage? Yeah, there's no one else in the cage. The cage is empty. But there's loads of aliens in there. There's also a skeleton with gold armor. Oh, great. They do not like that skeleton at all. Alright, see, this is what I'm going to have to deal with. Is I'm going to have to try and figure out some way of getting in here. Because, see, this, this skeleton's trying to uh, get in. Oh, great. Oh, no. Oh, that, that, that skeleton's in trouble. Oh, wow. Wait, what is that? What What is that at the base there? I have no idea. But see, that skeleton 
would be me if I try and go in there. So, there's got to be some better way of getting in there. But I'm trying to figure out, what's that black thing? There's some, like, cage or something over there. Let's, uh, let's sneak around on this side. See what that is over there. What is that? Is that a skeleton spawner? Oh, right. And there's the, uh, the lightning. Yeah, I gotta watch out for that. At least they're, uh... Getting rid of the uh, the lightning by using the lightning rods, but they're trying to climb up to the top I don't know what they're doing, but they've got like this huge rocket here uh, This is probably the best view. I have no idea how that thing flies or if they can even get inside uh, They have some way of getting off the planet I guess so Let's go. I guess I could try and go inside Let's see if I can go in through the, uh, the cave real quick. Because, uh, I, I can see a lot from out here. But I want to see if I can get inside. Alright. I, I hear them. They're, they're definitely angry. Oh, no. Okay, they're, they're by the door. This is going to be a problem. Yeah, they're, they're, they're by the door and they're angry. So, you know what? We're going to come back another time. We're going to come back when they're distracted and not guarding the door. So, let's head to the uh, survival shelter. And I want to get some uh, stuff prepared for next time's battle. Uh, what, which frog is this? I know, what was it? Jelly or Trevor was chilling somewhere over here? Who's this? Oh, here's Jelly. Yeah, so Jelly likes to hang around here. Trevor, I think, is on the other side. He's over on the other side of the village. Unless one of these guys are Trevor. Oh, wait, no, this is Trevor right here. Wait, you know what? Let's bring these guys back. You know what? Let's bring you in the survival shelter. Come on, Trevor. Come on, Jelly. We're gonna, we're gonna bring you to uh, a nice safe spot. Uh, cause, uh, they've moved way far away from, uh, Frog Island. Frog Island's way back over by the house. These guys have traveled a great distance. It's interesting that they both actually ended up over there. At one point, I thought Trevor was over in the village. But, I guess he moved his way this way. Uh, I gotta watch out for this creeper. Okay, I think he's finally, uh, decided to go away. But let's see if I can get these guys inside of the, uh, the survival shelter here. We're gonna have to, like, run fast. Uh, I wasn't able to get him in. Let's see if I can activate the door from here. Okay, who's this? Okay, I got Jelly in. So, you know what? Let's, uh, detach Jelly. See if I can get Trevor to come through. If I go and open up the door. Hey, there we go. Okay, so we got Trevor and Jelly inside. I'm actually gonna bring him to the back room. Because this is a little bit safer. So, let's bring him back here. All the dogs are in here. You know who's not in here? Where's Minecraft at? I gotta go get Minecraft and Polly. Let's just bring all the pets inside of the survival shelter here. So that way they're nice and safe. So I'll go ahead and... Actually, don't close that. I want that open. Because I'm gonna have to come back through there. Now, let's go through the secret door here. I'm gonna go get Minecraft and Polly real quick. And that way all of the pets are safe. Oh, and I've also gotta get Jeb. Okay, so I've got Jeb back from the, uh, the house here. Uh, looks like, uh, Jelly over here has, uh, gone out of the, uh, the back room. But I got Jeb, so let's bring him to the back and get him all set up. What is happening in here? Dogs, what happened? Wait, where did the Wither Skeleton Skull go? Oh, that's not good. Wait, come in here, Jeb. Wait, what happened? Come on, dogs, you, you know what happened here? Alien? Oh, no. Alien came in and grabbed the skull. Really? Here, you know what? Let me just go and block this up real quick. That way it stops the, uh, the water. I gotta go over to the house. Hold on, we need to make sure that that, uh, that wither hasn't been activated. Alright, let's go over to the, uh, the house here. Uh, there's loads of mobs I gotta dodge. Uh, what is happening? Anything? Uh, I can't really see the dogs in the way. Wait, where did the, uh, the wither go? There's no longer a, uh, a wither up there. Oh! Oh, there, there's, there's a wither up there. Never mind. No, the house! What? 
Oh, great. The house just exploded. Okay, we need to get out of here. Quick, run. Uh, where's the wither at? He's right there. Alright, so the, uh, the wither is kind of just, like, hovering around the house. Oh, no, he's attacking my panda. No, get out of here, zombie. No, this is bad. I gotta get back to the, uh, the survival shelter. The panda's actually surviving really well. Oh, no. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Quick. Let's get in the, uh, the survival shelter. I gotta fight my way through all the mobs. They, uh, the wither has been summoned into the world. Oh, no, and my house. The whole beacon on top of the house just exploded. It was like all a setup. They rigged it with explosives and everything. Alright, how are we doing, Jelly? We got Jeb. Who's opening these doors? What? Who is opening those doors? That was weird. I have no idea what's happening. Uh, we should be safe in here. All the, uh, the animals are in the back. Let me get, uh, Jeb and Jelly here in the, uh, the back. They're kind of just stuck over here in the, uh, the main room, which isn't really the safest place. It's still secure, but this is the, uh, the safe room back here. So, you know what? Let's get everyone, uh, in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. I've patched this up so the water's not leaking, but there was a wither on the loose, uh, in the, uh, the world. I don't see the, uh, the boss bar, so he should be far enough away where we're not gonna have to worry. I don't know if I can really see him from out here. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to end the episode here, and next episode, I'm gonna have to, uh, deal with the, uh, the wither, and we're probably gonna have to go after these aliens, because they just, like, destroyed my house, summoned in the, uh, the wither, which is not good. So, that's gonna be it for today, so I'm gonna go and end the episode here, so make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody!